Hi guys, this is Tanya, and I wanted to share with you my box that I made for my little squirrely sister over at Jade um, Jaded Studio is having a secret squirrel cigar box swap. And this month's theme was Retro Mod Chic Sewing Box. So, <laughs> this is my uh, creation. I used a lot of reds and pinks, um, which pink is not my color, so um, I really had to stretch out of my own box here to make this happen, but I think it turned out beautiful, and I'm going to have a really hard time giving this box up, guys. So what I've done is the top is quilted with some fabric that um, has that light pale blue and pinks and yellows in it and then I took some white quilting fabric I'm gonna move in a little closer so you guys can see the details here um, I took some white quilting fabric and I uh, dyed it yellow to match the yellow in the other paper I mean in the other fabric this is all fabric on here and then um, this is one of the Michaels frames and I just found this image online and put it inside the frame and then I made these little bows with some um, tape measure paper that I got from inside of a sewing box sewing kit um, the sewing kit had the the um, thread and the um, scissors and the sewing tape and these little pins here so I just kind of made a collage of all of the things and it had a, a thimble but it had a red plastic thimble and I had this one in my stash. I have a collection of metal thimbles that I inherited from my grandmother so this is one from my grandmother's stash. I hope you like it. And then I have these pins. They are not glued down so you can pull them out um, and use them on another project if you would like. And then um, since this was a seamstress box, I cut out a McCall pattern from the internet and just kind of crinkled it up and stuck it here and put some buttons around. And then the dress form is a Tim Holtz dress form. And then this is a piece of canvas that I um, matte mediumed on the back and then stuck it to this dress form. And I wanted this to look like it was a kind of, it was being made, a dress that was being made. So I only did the skirt and I have little pins in here holding on the, the little um, binding here on this. So then on the inside, when you open it up, I have this velvet bottom. And then for the top, let me ease up. This is what the inside looks like. And this is a piece of paper in the background. I have no idea who made it. Um, and then I used the Tim Holtz stamp and just cut it out with the dress form. And then over here I have a sewing machine that I cut from the Heritage cartridge. But I added three S's to the sewing machine from... Um, they're like a little filigree S's. So it's, uh, it's, it's basically the three S's stand for Secret Squirrel Cigar, or Sister. Secret Squirrel Sister. And then I added one of my little vintage envelopes that I shared with you guys how to make it with my information inside. And some of the little felt roses that I've been making. And um, this is a little embroidery hoop that I had gotten from a garage sale. So I put a piece of the fabric that was on the cover here and um, a little thread and on the thread spools let me show you I added I found these cute let me see if you can get close enough to see it I found these cute labels on the internet so let me see if I can focus and so you can see it um, anyway it's little vintage labels to go on there and they're all chewed up and just anyway so there you go. There's my box. I hope my sister likes it. It's going in the mail on Tuesday. So thank you guys for watching.